हरि ओम चिल्ड्रेन होप आल आर वेल एंड गुड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्लास लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ अ प्रेयर जॉइन योर हैंड्स क्लोज योर आईज सिट स्ट्रेट चैंट ओम मंत्र थ्री टाइम्स Take a long breath. Om. Take a long breath. Take a long breath. Om. Sahana. The main objective of this topic is to know about the food preservation, to know about cold storage and dry storage, to know about the protection from diseases. Some of the factors influenced in the food spoilage: microorganisms, enzymes. insects or rodents chemical reaction environmental factors like heat and time we should preserve the food items from ancient times we have been using various methods to protect food items from microbes there are drying smoking cooling freezing salting pickling canning drying and dehydration is an another method of food preservation when water is removed from the food products it is called as dehydration dehydration means removal of water so from the food the water is removed so this process is called dehydration vegetables fruits meat and fish are salted and then dried in the sun these salted and dried items can now be stored for a longer period of time without getting spoiled the growth of microorganism is prevented by the addition of salt and the removal of water food storage surely we should store the food in a proper method there are two main types of food storage is there the first one is dry storage and another one is cold storage different methods 
are used to preserve the food some of the foods are preserved with the help of oil and vinegar some of the foods are stored in the dry container some of the foods are stored in the refrigerator some of the foods are given the heat treatment some of the food are stored with the help of addition of salt some of the food items by adding sugar we are preserving the food items dry storage cereals and pulses are stored for a long period of time for a long period of time or a year by keeping them in a dry place in airtight containers cold storage vegetables fruits meat and fish are perishable goods that get spoiled when kept at room temperature therefore these are stored at a lower temperature in refrigerators they are also transported from one place to another place in refrigerated container they remain fresh for a longer period area where food is prepared should always be kept clean and dry the cooking utensils and equipment should be cleaned and dried properly we should wash our hands before eating before cooking because sometimes our hands which consist of microbes while washing the microbes are killed by the soap and water we should wash our hands thoroughly before cooking the persons who cook should wash their hands thoroughly before cooking cooked food should be kept in covered container cooked and uncooked food should be kept separately food should be cooked in such a way that the nutrients are not destroyed the food containing carbohydrate proteins fats minerals and vitamins once we cooked we should maintain the nutrients correctly food should be cooked in such a way that the nutrients are not destroyed we should not cook overly if we cooked over the nutrients will destroy from the food food according to our indian philosophy food is regarded as a form of god however we all know that millions of tons of food is being spoiled wasted discarded when a large number of our fellow beings are not getting even two square meals so we should not waste food we should share it with others and we should try our best to preserve it preservation of food how do we preserve food we should know the methods perishable food stuffs like milk meat fruits and vegetables must be stored in the refrigerator foods like spices cereals biscuits and other snacks should be kept in airtight jars this helps to prevent their contact with the moisture in the air the shelves and cupboards where they are stored must also be kept clean and dry 
Food preservation is the process of treating and handling of food to stop or slow down the spoilage caused by microorganisms. Food preserved by this method can usually be stored for quite a long time. It can then be used even when it is not available in its fresh form. Some of the methods used for preservation of food are Dehydration In this process, water content of the foodstuff is removed. Since most microorganisms need water to grow, they cannot multiply or grow on dried foods. Many vegetables like onions and cauliflowers are dried to preserve them. Preservation by adding sugar and salt. Both sugar and salt serve as preservatives. These tend to take out moisture from the food so that it is not available for growth of microorganisms. This method is useful in preparing and preserving pickles and jams. Preservation by adding acidic acid. Acidic acid in the form of vinegar is used in the manufacture of several pickled products. Vinegar also stops the growth of microorganisms. Canning and bottling. Canning involves cooking food, sealing it in sterile cans or jars and boiling the containers to kill or weaken any remaining bacteria through a form of sterilization. Many fruits, vegetables and meat products are canned to preserve them. Pasteurization It is the process in which the food product is subjected to pasteurized heating for a short time followed by immediate cooling. The temperature used during pasteurization is below 212 degree Fahrenheit. Milk is pasteurized to kill microorganisms. Do you know pasteurization has been named after the well-known mythologist Louis Pasteur? Drinking unpasteurized milk is generally not safe as we can get diseases due to the presence of disease-causing microorganisms. Thank you children. Shall we do the eye exercise? Plus 
standing right side first move pandrom right Change your hands. Left, right, thighs la. Elbow lo chirko. Five times. Up. Circle clockwise la five times. Left the thighs la chirko. Or a circle kangala porono. Clockwise one. Umanala evlo dura eyeball. Mala nala rotate pani condora mudimo. And the local ma condora la. Right thighs lo chirko five times. Rest to put on. normal breathe in, breathe out. Twelve varikku. Nama counting which kano. Adu varikku eyeball rest.
ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌಬುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿಯೋ